when I was shuffling out the spread, what I saw was um, this medieval looking gate. Okay, it's made out of wood. It's kind of, uh, it's got a, like an arch to it. So it's not a rectangular door. It's it's more like, well, it's a door. It's not so much a gate, but it's uh, arched. And um, there's like a, a de you know, like, what would you call those? I don't even know the technical terms. There's like a bar on the other side of the gate. And I see this person, um, he, he looks like a knight. He's, he has like a, a shield and he's wearing like chain mail and he has a sword. He's not there to fight, but he's like knocking on the gate. And then um, there's a peephole opens. Well, he's knocking on the door, excuse me. The peephole opens from the door. And then I see a pair of eyes looking from, from the inside, looking out at this knight. And the person looks at him and then closes the peephole. And then he knocks again and the person opens up and it's just all like, what do you want? And, you know, they have like a short exchange conversation and then the peephole closes again. So I feel like you guys are the, um, you're, you're the one inside looking out. That's what it feels like to me. Um, there's a sense of secrecy. There's a sense of like, you know, leave me alone and, and, and let me have my space. Let me have my solitude. Let me, you know, do my own thing. There's also this sense of like, um, I see you not so much pushing people away, but keeping people at arm's length because you want to preserve your little piece of heaven, like your, your, your little haven, your little refuge, your time, your space. Like you, you just need a lot of your time and space is what I'm feeling for the next two weeks. Um, so when I saw that image, I was thinking, you know, you're definitely, somebody is coming in, beckoning you to come out, uh, open the door and, you know, let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's possibly go out. Let's uh, go for a walk. Let's go for a stroll. Let's go get some food or even just, you know, I want to see you. I want to see not just a pair of eyes looking through the peepholes, but I really want to see you. I want to catch up with you. I want to see what's going on. And I miss you. That's what it feels like to me. And, um, once again, if you're the person inside and you're looking through the people, it's almost like you're afraid to experience things in, in close quarters. Um, you're afraid of that human interaction. You could also be just afraid of the changes that opening the door, letting the fresh air in, letting the light in. You're afraid that somebody might not like what they see, but you're also afraid of like having to step out into the light and having to make some changes. Okay. So I definitely feel there's a lot of fear, um, in the spread. So first of all, I feel like there's somebody coming towards you and their presence is very, very refreshing, but it's also very, very scary. Um, they might be, they might just be very different from you. Um, they're somebody that is very courageous. They move around a lot. So I don't know if, you know, they, they have traveled a lot. They've um, lived in many, many different locations. They're quite exciting. Here today, gone tomorrow. Um, I don't see their energy as like the Knight of Wands where it's like a heartbreaker where they're here today, they want to sleep with you and then, you know, they never call you. I don't, I don't see that. The person is the Prince of Swords. This is the Knight of Swords. This is someone who's very courageous. They fight the good fight. They fight for ideas. They're very much in alignment with their moral compass and they're very much in alignment with their own truth. They will fight for the truth. They will fight for people that are weaker than them. They will defend the weak. And I feel like it's somebody that might have, you know, um, quite exciting, but also uh, not, em not too emotional in nature. And I almost feel like, I almost feel like there, there's a, a sense here about somebody being able to read the other person like an open book. And I feel like this person is trying to coax you out. This person is trying to engage with you. This person wants to, um, I, I almost feel like I'm fascinated by you. 
uh, let's converse a little bit more and see where things go. So it's not like 100% that they are interested in you, they want to build a life with you, they want to marry you, they want to date you. I feel like they're still like, I'm fascinated by you, I want to have, you know, a few more conversations with you over coffee, over tea, and then see where things go. So because of that, they're not really promising anything, you know, solid or certain or anything 100% stable or even a relationship or even a marriage. And I feel like that's why you might be keeping them at an arm's length, okay? Um, I feel like you might be harboring a lot of, of of emotions and feelings for this person. And because of their nonchalant nature, you might feel like your love is unrequited. And because they're so transient, here today, gone tomorrow, um, unpredictable too, like um, you don't know where they've been, you don't know where they're going to go next, you don't know from one day to the next. And, and it's just, you know, they're not an emotional person by nature, you might feel like either they're not a good fit or you might have a lot more feelings for this person than you feel they do about you. And so you feel like it's not safe for me to open the door. I'm going to fall too fast, too hard, too soon. And when they leave, I'm going to be completely heartbroken. For some of you, this is a new person. I do see a lot of new energies, but for others, this could, this could be a crush coming back. This could be an ex coming back. I feel more so new people and then also crushes, whatever that didn't get off the ground. Uh, it has a second chance for revival, okay? But either way, I feel like you're... They're, they're coaxing you out, you're pushing them away, you're putting up your walls, you're closing that door, and only looking at them through the peephole. And once again, that peephole is like, you know, possibly looking at somebody, stalking somebody, uh, keeping tabs on somebody, trying to figure out what they're up to, what they're doing, who they're with. Are they single? Are they engaged? Are they married? So th there's that element. Um, for others of you, I feel here there is a solid commitment, and I have here an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I feel like this is a person that is going through either a self-confidence dip, um, I'm hearing, they're like, I'm just outside of my element right now, I'm trying to get my my things together, um, I'm going to, you know, make it up to you. That's what I'm hearing from this person. This is Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is somebody that's telling you, you know, don't give up on me. Um, for whatever reason, I feel like at the beginning, the advent of this relationship, it was like a whirlwind, passionate romance. It was almost like soap opera. It was almost like um, a fairy tale. The princess and the prince, okay? And for those of you who are not uh, heterosexual or in heterosexual relationships, it was just almost like um, two kindred spirits meeting in a very, I, I, almost, I almost feel like in, in a very serendipitous way or in a very um, unconventional way or in an um, environment where it's like fairy tale like okay so I, I feel almost like somebody feels like the prince the other person feels like the princess and the two of you just you know on on picture it, in real life you you look like perfect for one another and so I feel like it was a whirlwind romance it was like it was just amazing it was mind-blowing it was just very very Romantic. There was a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, and the two of you are um, experiencing a few bumps in the road, okay? This person is very much committed to you, so don't doubt that. I feel like they would be so devastated if I, they ever lost you. They would be. Um, but I, I definitely feel there are challenges in this relationship. They might be a little bit controlling. They might be a little bit jealous. Um, and I feel like... And I, I feel like they're going through some type of a self-esteem dip, okay? Hence the jealousy, hence the control issues. 
is because there's some fear here about you leaving them. And I almost feel like this person might not be as um, financially independent as they would like. They're trying to get their life together. They're trying to sort things out. They're trying to make it. They're 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 telling you, you know, give it, um, give me some time. Let me sort things out from my end. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with let me sort out my financial situation. Let me make things better. Let me, you know, do me first right now. And then I can come back to you and offer you something concrete, something solid. Once I have that financial foundation. So I feel like you have to be a little bit patient with this person. But I feel like they would be so devastated if you ever strayed, if you ever left, if you ever... Um, you know, fell out of love with them. They they really care about you. And I, I, I feel like it was just a whirlwind romance. And you know, the, the, the honeymoon stage doesn't always last. So if you're experiencing those bumps in the road in this, um, through the lifespan of this relationship, just keep in mind, it is completely normal that fairy tale romance, as much as we love it, as much as we, um, believe in it, it's, um, it's highly unlikely that it's going to sustain, you know, through the duration of this relationship. So I feel like it's kind of a reality check, but not in a bad way. It's just forcing you to be a little bit more creative, to be a little bit more patient and to, you know, creatively solve these issues in the relationship. OK, and be patient with this person. Um, I do see a little bit of temper flare ups from them. They're a little bit irritable. They're a little bit irritable. Um, so, you know, be patient with them. Um, they need a little bit more coaxing. So I feel like they might be, if it's an earth sign you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they might be the one in the castle. Or, I'm sorry, behind that, that, that door, uh, looking at you through the peephole. They might be a little bit depressed or in a funk and, you know, they don't want to open the door because they don't want you to see them all disheveled in their pajamas and, you know, just like unbathed like that. Um, they don't want to, you to see them at their worst, okay? They want to put on this face or put on a facade that everything is okay, everything is, is magical, and so that might be why they're kind of pushing you away if that's the case, okay? But they will come back and it's really urging you to be a little bit patient with them. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. I feel for many of you, there is a property that you are trying really hard to retain. Once again, you're behind that door and... Um, you know, the knights come in and they're just like, uh, we are here to collect your taxes or we're here by royal order to take your land or confiscate your home. So I definitely see the element about, you know, um, the bank, like the, the message is the bank owns your house or some other entity owns your property. And so many of you are trying to, to like, you, you might be fighting to keep a piece of land, a property, or something that you feel, something tangible, something physical, that is quite pricey and expensive and has sentimental value or physical value to you. And you're fighting to keep it. For some of you, this could be children, something that you value and cherish. And there could be, you know, legal issues between you and a um, the, the father or the mother of the children. And then for others, this is a physical property, like the house, you know, um, and others, a piece of land, okay? And I feel almost like, let me see what this message is. I feel like this has happened before, like this is an ongoing type of a battle, and I feel like somebody is lawyer, lawyering up. Somebody is, is like um, busting out the law books and the regulations and, you know, trying to um, trying to get supporting facts or supporting documents to back up their argument to to win some type of a legal issue or to, you know, get the court on their side. OK, so I see that element coming up. Um, I'm also feeling as well, there's a huge need for you 
to look at new opportunities. So I, I see somebody having a property or something like I also feel like if you are, you know, into arts and craft, if you are an artist, if you are a musician, you have something or even if you own property, you have something very, 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 very valuable. You could be an antiques collector. You could be inadvertently um, something was passed down to you that has a lot of value and you're clinging on to it it's it's almost like you keep it out of that sense of like maybe if i keep it for another few years it's going to accumulate more value or you might be keeping it out of that sense of um you know it has sentimental value to you but i feel like somebody is telling you uh, is appraising it and they're like it's worth a lot of money so you might want to uh they they might tell you or they might entice you into selling it so selling a property, selling an antique, selling something that you own. And then I also feel like proposals and, and you know, um, gifts and trips and things like that coming through from a significant other. OK, so like somebody's definitely got their eyes on you and they are wanting to communicate with you, wanting to do something with you, wanting to take a trip with you. And I feel like it's going to be really, really good. So. The advice overall, I feel, is stepping out from behind that door, okay? Don't just look at life and live your life through those peepholes. Watching people go by, nibbling at life and, and you know, um, behind the safety of that door. It's really important for you to, you know, swing those doors open and embrace the people and embrace the opportunities that are coming into the picture, um, I also feel this element about some people recently recovering from some type of um, possibly surgery, okay, possibly as well. I feel almost like I just keep seeing whenever I see eyes through peepholes, it, it, it feels to me like paranoia afraid the neighbors would find out or afraid like gossip from neighbors or afraid afraid of something rumors gossip or even just you know uh wanting to be secretive like you you don't want people to just talk about your business so i, I feel like you you might not even be doing anything sneaky you just don't like to be the center of attention or you don't like to be the center of gossip or you don't like to be the center of people's conversations you know you just want to, people to mind their own business so i feel this element as well about some people um possibly recently recover from surgery and um you might have been bedridden you might have been in recovery and you're not feeling at your physical best okay you might feel like oh i've put on a little bit of weight or i've let myself go or you know i'm not as attractive as i would like to be and so you are trying to I, I feel like you're you're trying to get yourself back in shape you're trying to reduce the amount of you know um food that you're you're putting in your body and so i feel like you're getting yourself to the point where you can fit your old clothes or you are conscious about i need to you know take better care of myself i need to you know um possibly new clothes new wardrobe not just wearing your pajamas i i feel that that element it, it's almost like you have been gone uh been through a period of recovery and so you're trying to it's like you're coming back out into the social scene and you want to be you know at your best okay um let me see if there's something else coming into the picture here as we round out this uh this year as we round up this year what i do feel is um coming into this sense of beauty and coming into this sense of like loving your body and feeling comfortable in your body again. So I definitely feel people that have been going through like self image issues, not feeling attractive or not feeling at their best and coming out of that and getting your body into shape. I feel like some of you might be um, going to see a nutritionist some of you might be taking dance lessons, you know, just to have fun, but also to lose weight. I also feel you're getting a lot more physically active, doing a lot more outdoorsy things. 
And I also feel um, you're going to enjoy, you know, the, the way you look and your body as we round out this year. Um, be patient with your significant other. For those of you with children, I feel almost like you're very meticulous when it comes to taking care of them. Okay, you're doing an amazing job. Um, but I also feel like you might be, I'm seeing somebody measuring, measuring every like calorie that the, the, the child eats, um, making sure that they hit all the right portions in the exact proportion from the food pyramid. So I feel like you might want to relax a little bit. You might want to just relax and just, you know, um, not measure things, not obsess over things. So I feel like it's someone who's a little bit OCD, a little bit obsessive with caloric intake or even, you know, for themselves or for their child. And um, I'm also feeling as well, uh, when it comes to children, you know, um, aiming to be a little bit more um, more fun. So like allowing them room to be kids, allowing them to just, you know, be wild and unruly within reason, but allowing that, that time and that space for them to feel like children. Okay. So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Um, Pisces, 